I guess in this video I am going to discuss about case statement and if function in my SQL database. So about the case statement, so it evaluate condition and return a value. So first that evaluate the condition and return a value when the first condition is match. So add here about if function, so if function return one value if a condition is true or another value if a condition is false. And here if, con if function can return either string or numeric value. So right here I am using the table tab 1. So let's see the examples of case and if function. So right here select. So right here I am selecting three columns. First is emp number. Next e name. And here after gender id. And here after let's scale case and here when close so when gender id so when the gender id value is m so equal to single quote m so then that display and here i'm going to display male and here after if gender id value not match with m so then that display female and here after use end and here after as gender from tab 1 so if you execute this query so at your that select three columns emp number e name and gender id here after case so when gender id equal to m so at here when the uh, that match with m so that at here in new column that display or male or as that display female so at here let's uh, remove that part first And if you execute this query, so see at here, I am getting when a uh, gender match with M, so that to uh, display at here, male, male, and when that match, when the condition of M is fair, so then that display female, and here, uh, or uh, when M match with M, so that, that display male, and here after this on, so this is the part or here this so this is the one part and here i'm going to make this one add here giving as so this is the one column so i'm going to add here by writing this so this create one new column so the name of this all so in place of this one i'm going to give gender so as is the uh, column alias so let's execute so I just see when the value is m, so that display male. m male. So if value is not match with m, so that display at a female. So this is the things. And in case a statement, you can give multiple when. So you can give multiple condition. So at here. So at here there is a one gender id is the k. So when the gender id value match with k, so in place at here I am going to display n a and as part that display, so when that match with k, so at here that display n a m then male or else that display female. So let's execute here. So see at here male, female, male, female and let's go to the last. So at here when that match with k. So right here that's uh, displaying na that means uh, uh, in case as per a statement you can give multiple when clause and uh, here after let's uh, see the example of if function so right here let's uh, select emp number next enum 
and here after gender id so this three column i selected now here after let's give if function so if function add here gender id equal to m so if the gender id equal to m so add here when the condition is match so add here i am going to if the condition is true so that print male or else that print female and here give from table tab 1 so let's execute this query so at here I am getting the error message because that is I closed my semicolon at that place now execute again so see at here when that to gender id match with m so if that m match so at here that return male or here if the condition is not match then that is to female so in place of at here so this is the one new column created so at here the name is if gender m so in place of that one i am going to give column alias name at here center so here let's execute so see at here gender so same output I am getting by if clause. So at here in, or uh, if you are using a case statement, then you have to include when hereafter gender male, then hereafter male, and hereafter as part here and as here uh, column alias like this. So by using if a statement, you can achieve the same output. But here you have to write three lines of code, and if you execute if you are using a add here case statement so you have to use 3 and 3 plus 3 6 so this is the things about case statement and if statement but one thing is that in case statement you can give add here multiple when clause so suppose if i am going to include add here let's include if multiple if So if gender id equal to k, so that k then that display n a. n slash a and let's execute this query and check. So this also working fine. There, there is one on oh, at here, there is one new column is created, female, female, female. So when that match with k, so in last that match with k, so k match, so at here this is a displaying n. So you, at here you can give multiple if condition and here in case a statement you have to give multiple when condition. But to in at here the best practice, you if you if you face this kind of situation, so use if condition. So if condition is very easy to understand. Have so at here or uh, you select uh, any columns here after if so if condition is true so that if this is match if this condition is true so if this condition is true so this is the true part here this is the false part two parts then whatever they are so that print here if condition is not match so that goes to go to else part here so this is the things about the case statement and if function in my sql database